Um, I've kept myself awake at night thinking of what I can say to make my voice heard. So please, if you're watching this, please listen to the end. Um, I've had a lot of people ask for some education on this. Um, so here's kind of what I've come up with. Um, firstly, to my white friends, your black and minority ethnic friends are asking two main things of you. Number one, to understand the problem, to absorb the information that's out there and to understand what white privilege truly means. And then number two, to use that understanding to do better. I'm going to clarify like what I mean by that and I'm going to be brutally honest in doing so. If you are still saying but to any of the Black Life Matter messages, you don't fully understand. If you are feeling tired of seeing it plastered on your social media feed, then you don't understand. Your white privilege allows you to push the issue to the back of your mind. I understand you feel overwhelmed. You're missing pictures of your people's brunches, their selfies and their cute dog pictures. But this is a fraction of the pain black people feel on a daily basis. This is but a fraction of how overwhelmed black people are when they see videos of their own brothers, nephews, cousins being killed in the streets. If you think it's an American problem and it doesn't apply to Scotland, then you don't understand. British history is black history. Scottish people are culpable in history for the enslaving of minorities. Please do your research. In particular, the video posted recently about um, Glaswegian street names just went viral. Please watch it. The organisation, um, the Coalition for the Racial Equality and Rights that my mum is a part of, they host some incredible black history events in Glasgow and Edinburgh. So please look them up when this is all over and it comes back around again. Um, they do some great work. The aim of this is not to be able to say you don't see colour. I've had friends who tell me that they don't think of me as black, as though they're doing me some kind of favour. You can and you should see me as black. It shouldn't be an issue for you to do so. By telling you me you don't see me as black, you tell me that there, you kind of insinuate that there would be a problem if you did, as though it's your choice to decide how acceptable I am to you. You should see colour. Your children should see colour, that they should know that we all bleed red. We are all the same underneath that colour. Until that is understood, we can never move forward. I've had stories of friends going to other countries in Asia or Africa, for example, saying people were staring at me or people were touching my hair without asking, without realising that this is what people like me can expect on a daily basis in my own neighbourhood or our own workplaces. That's your privilege talking. A good friend came to me a few months before this all happened, um, quite unexpectedly, and said, listen, I have to admit, I just don't know enough about the history of black people in Britain and the oppression you've suffered, and that's not good enough, and I'm going to go and educate myself about it. And this is one of the bravest things that you can do as a person, admit you're wrong and seek to change it. This is your opportunity. There has never been more information out there. There are resources plastered all over the internet. Use them. I still remember the first time I was told I couldn't have something that I deserved because of the colour of my skin. I was in primary school. I cried to my mum who immediately pulled me out of the situation, not without bringing the people involved down a pair or two, um, and had to sit down to her child in primary school and explain to her that this will happen again. And I was like, but this isn't fair. I said that over and over again. And here I am 27 years later. It's a fact of life for me. It shouldn't have to be. However, I'm also aware of my own privilege, like to have my blackness diluted by being mixed race, to have more people think of me as acceptable with a white father and a Scottish accent, which is good if you forget the times someone's asked if they could call me half-caste or have say. Please come and talk to me or people like me if you're willing to listen. In order to understand all of this, you need to have really tough conversations. If a black person tells you how they feel, let them. Listen. Don't fight back saying, oh, well, I've never said anything like that and I don't know anyone who would. To be quite frank, I don't care. You've all benefited from a system that favours you at every turn, right down to flesh-coloured plasters. If you want to understand, stop fighting back. Stop trying to prove that you're one of the good ones by arguing about with me about how good you are. Show me with your actions how good you are. Your silence speaks volumes. If you are willing to be silent on this matter, if you're willing to do nothing about it, please unfollow me. 
please like unfriend me. I don't need your silence. We don't, we don't need your silence. We need your action. My mum has spent her whole life fighting injustice and she is tired. She is so tired. And this is why I'm speaking out now. This is not a political statement, nor is this a white versus black issue. This is right versus wrong. How can black people be expected to dismantle a problem that they didn't create? Just when this is all over, make sure that you're standing on the right side of history. Make sure you know that you did the best that you could.